welcome back to the Ark, or let's play on the center. Today, I wanted to make a quick little video. How to do groups. Whistle groups. And it's pretty simple. It looks complicated, but it's not really. The first thing you have to do is you have to set your key bindings. What number you will push or letter or whatever you push in order to activate that group. Now for me, since there was 10 groups, I decided to put it on my number pad on the right hand side. So group one is one, group two is two, and group 10 is zero. That's how I activate my groups, all right? You come out of that and you go into your regular game. Now, who you put in each group is totally up to you. And this is the screen you do it in. It's got the little paw print up at the top. You can open your inventory and there's the, the buttons to push at the top. It's the one with the little footprint. And when you click it, it brings up the tame ordering groups, group stats, and the creatures and classes. All right. The tame ordering groups are the actual groups and what you're going to call them. All right. And when you click on that, it's going to show you on the right hand side who is in the group or individually or what class is in that group. All right. The difference between a creature and a class is a creature is an individual member, no matter what it is. Dana, Oscar, whatever. Class is the kind of animal it is. So if it's a Dillo or a Dodo or a Terry. All right. So, it'll also tell you how many members are in each class or ordering group. How many are in that group or the class. So, the, the group size is 50. The class size is 50. Those are the max numbers that they show that you can have of that individual or that in a group. You can't put more than 50 into a group of any Sort of, if that makes any sense. All right, so now there's two ways to add a single animal to a group. You can either add it as its individual or you can add it as its entire class. Not only do I want to put Simone, I want to put every Terry I ever tame into the flyer group. All right, so that's what I have Simone listed right now as the entire Terry's I ever have will be in the flyer group. Now I can add her specifically to the group. I click there. I look for the name flyers. There we go. Now she's added. Let's go up there and I'll show you. Now she's added both as her name, Simone. Let's click on that. There you go. Simone and all the Terry's. Now I could take the class group Terry out of it and she would still be in it. It's just up to you. If you have like 25 Rexes, you don't want to go and put each single one in because you have to go per animal to add them singly into a group. So you say, okay, I want to put all my Rexes in it. So you just go to one Rex and you say put every Rex I have into the Rex group and they'll be in there. Now what I did was sometimes I'd put it individually, sometimes I'd put it as the um, class. It really doesn't matter. The only time it really matters is if you have a single individual in a class. For example if I had one of these Dillos that I didn't want to come when I whistled Dillos, I would have to take the class out so it doesn't include every Dillo. And then I have to put in the individuals of the ones I did want to call and just leave him out. You can do it that way. Or conversely, you can just add every class of each kind of animal you have and then go into the animals that you do not want to respond to a whistle and say to that individual, ignore all group whistles. You can do it that way too. This is so customizable to your style of playing, your style of how you do things. 
It's extremely customizable. Now I decided to make four groups. I've got Dillos in group one and then I've got Dodos in group two. I've got my Flyers in group three and then I've got another group four which is everybody. Has ever had to have a mass exodus out? I could just miss, you know, hit number four, activate the entire group, and whistle all follow. Boom! They're, we're out of there. You know, mass evacuation. And they'll follow. No problems. All right. So it's up to you whether you add it in a person or a creature individually or by its class. Either way is perfectly fine. You can fiddle with it and decide how you want to have things respond, you know? For example, if I'm, I'm whistling my flyers, that means that the demorph and my stuff. I'm going to get these animals sorted, I promise. It's not that I'm lazy. It's just every time I put them somewhere, they seem to migrate around the boat. At some point, I will figure out a place where they all go and stay where I put them. So, come here. It's just a matter of experimenting and see what works. Because boats, for some reason, they've got some weird thing that they do to where they just swing in things willy-nilly out. I can't tell you how many times I've had to retrieve a dodo that's, that's swimming around in the water. It's ridiculous. No, no, well, that's boat life. Oh, and I see change of color and sex. I'll have to explain that later. <laughs> Not today. Next video. A story about that. Alrighty. So now let's uh you can see on this right hand side if it's already in as a class it'll be in yellow saying do you ever want to remove that class or do you want to add an individual if you read things and you look and you go oh this thing is its entire class but maybe you don't want the entire class in you just want to put this particular dodo in by itself and you can the procedure is real simple, real simple. And it tells you how many are selected in the groups when you click on them. It'll tell you all the info about that group and who's in it. You can see that on the right hand side. So, I'm still putting individuals, making sure everybody, I kind of personally like at this stage, I like the individuals to be listed. That way, if I want to take one out, it's pretty simple. All right. Let me get her in. Add creature to group. She's going to be in the everyone group. She doesn't have her own group. She just has, she's one of those I'll have respond to. Most of the time, everybody will be staying put. The Dillos will come, but I want to be able to, in case of an emergency, call up a group and be able to have it follow me or, you know, attack or whatever I need it to do. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, one more here. Let's see, that was seven, eight. So there's... Yes. Your creature has been added to a group of everyone, and that's the only group it's in. As you'll notice, some of the animals will be in two groups. The Dillos, the Dodos, and the Flyers will be in two groups. They'll be in their own group, and then they'll also be in the everyone group. And that's what I'm doing right now. Now you see in the, the how I've listed it. The flyers, there's two so far. But 
Hopefully I'll be adding an RG later. And it will also go into the flower group. So this is the everyone group. It's the copies, the multiples. I put their class in. And then the individuals that I just have one of, I went ahead and put them in individually. So that's a total of 13 animals. But we're going to count them all to make sure. All right. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's eight down here. And then there's one, two, three, four. And one more makes 13. And that's the total of animals I have on my boat. Okay, that about does it for the groups. We're going to test it and I'll show you real quick. I'm going to hit the everyone button and whistle them all passive. We'll check and see that that worked. And then I'm just going to whistle on the dillos to all follow. Okay, let's start with the whole group. There we go. Number four. Whistle them passive. Let's go see if it worked. It sure did. All right. Now just the dillos. Dillo. There we go. And now they're following, and they're great. So that's all there is to it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you later. Bye.